Strangely enough, you cannot get a Coney Island hot dog in Coney Island. It's, it's a Midwest thing. So we... Hello, I'm Carol Lee. And I'm Charles. We're an old married couple who enjoys traveling, cooking, and having adventures. Together we enjoy all the wonderful things the world has to offer. Join us as we discover the, the wonder, wonder about, about us. us. Chin chin. Okay, we're here at Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs, which is like ridiculously crowded and um, be forewarned that it's it's kind of slow, but they've only been doing it for a hundred years, so they haven't quite, quite, quite got their system down yet. Now, strangely enough, you cannot get a Coney Island hot dog in Coney Island. It's, it's a Midwest thing. So we got Nathan's original hot dog with sauerkraut, onion, and mustard, which is, I guess that's the New York way. And then we got a bacon cheddar one here. So we're gonna give this, this is the Nathan's original. I'm gonna give this a taste. Give you my first, yeah, you wanna shoot me here? Give you my first impressions of a Nathan's original hot dog from 1916. Wow. It's a good dog. I'm a hot dog aficionado. Um, the dog itself has got it's got a snap. It's not quite hot and the sauerkraut is a little bit weak on the sauerkraut flavor. But I like it. In general it's a good hot dog. Is it worth five bucks? It's a little greasy. It's, it's a little greasy? Is it worth five bucks? Eh, I don't know. I think a better hot dog could be had for five dollars, but it's pretty good for the for the nostalgia of having an Nathan's hot dog in Coney Island.